Hey guys and gals, this is Fractal Melody, and I am here with my guy Oisho. Level 100, we did it! We made it! And I am going to be playing Shaper. And this is not your everyday Shaper. This Shaper is different. Why is this Shaper different? Because I am going to do Shaper level 85. Now if I am able to even beat it, I, I hopefully I don't die too, uh, too many times, but if I can even beat it, that would be quite the feat because I've never beaten it before. Now I am doing a Ball Lightning Arc Mage Unleash. So I have Unleash, Slower Projectiles, Arc Mage, Ball Lightning, Awaken Lightning Penetration, and Awaken Elemental Focus. So since I have the Awakened Elemental Focus, I will be using Summon Skitter Bots to give the shock effect. And then we have Grace, we also have Wrath, and Clarity, Empower, Arrogance, Enlighten, Orb of Storms, Culling Strike, Portal, Summon Flame Golem. We got Eternal, the Divergent Eternal Blessing Support, Steel Skin, Empower, Discipline, Second Wind, Flame Dash, and Divergent Dash. All right, so this is where it gets pretty intense. Uh, and then my items, I'm using a Legacy Indigon. I'm, I can explain it afterwards, but uh, I got this Rare Prophecy Wand. I got th this Legacy Shaper's Touch with Elemental Weakness on hit. I got the uh, Conductivity on hit. And then this is just a really nice rare ring for resistances, tons of chaos resistance. We got a Voice of the Storm, which makes lightning damage with non-critical strikes lucky, which is exceptional. This is These are just re really good rare uh, boots, um, tri-res and whatnot, uh, can't be frozen essentially, avoiding frozen. We got the Cyclopean Coil, so I can't be ignited or shocked. And then this is to reserve life so and then this uh, right here the ivory tower chaos damage is taken from mana before life it's really good and then uh, you also have maximum energy shield per 100 reserved life I'm currently sporting 12,600 energy shield and I will be explaining a bit more of the build here in a moment but I'm gonna try to do this shaper run because we gotta we gotta try We gotta try. Please don't take my portal. Somebody's, somebody's, uh, somebody's root ch cheering me on. They're asking for some fusings. I said, I'll help you if I can. Here we go. Okay, we got him. That helps out tremendously. I can't even believe how much that helps out. That helps out so much. I got a new uh, Watcher's Eye Jewel that gives leech mana if you have Wrath, and it is nice. Beneficial. There we go. All right. Awesome. We did that. Okay. Get this real quick. Okay, he's down.
starting to think maybe I needed to change this one to be able to be used versus bosses and whatnot. What in the world? There we go. That's more like it. Okay. It was kind of strange there for a second, but we did it. Okay, we got this boss right here. All right. Got him, got him. All right. This is where it gets absolutely 100% intense. I'm going to have to focus up because if I don't, a little bit, that's my last bit of humor before I get in, in very serious. Oh, I almost got hit hard there. That would have been very bad. No. Oof. Oh, I did it. I did it. I got past the first phase, man. That was, I did so good. I did so good. That was, that was the best I've ever done for that phase. That was unbelievably good. That was unbelievably good. Oh my goodness. I just did that phase so fast. So fast. This leech mana is really good. This is helping out significantly. I'm leeching mana at a great rate. Yeah, this mana leech is helping out a lot. Got him, got him. Okay. All right.
Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. No. No. Oh. Okay, let's go. I tried so hard not to die. All right. That is it. You pissed me off, Shaper. Piss me off. Piss me off, Shaper. Oh, I didn't do a death list, but that's okay. That is okay. We're still focused. Still focused on the prize at hand, which is beating him for the first time ever. I level 85. He's crazy. This this is a man. He's the hardest hardest boss I've ever fought. So undeniably difficult. I don't know why he's so difficult. Why do you gotta be so difficult, Shaper? Why? Stop being so difficult. I was trying to dodge those little mini bullet times and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I got hit by too many of them and I died. I got hit by too many. All right, that's it. Shaper, you and me. Toe to toe. Shoot. Uh. 
No. 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 Die. Get him. No. 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 Die, Shaper. Yes. 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 We did it. We beat the flipping. I level 85 shaper. Woo! One death. One death. I did die to do it. I had to die to do it. Oh my goodness. We did it. Let's check this out. That was shaper, everybody. I level 85. That was my first time ever doing that. Whoa! That was crazy. The shaper realm is level 85. 85 now I can't say that that was deathless however I can say that that was crazy the level of in sheer intensity whoa what just happened we did it I did it and I only had to die once I died once but I did die It'd be not, it'd be even cooler if I didn't die, but it's not like I practiced it too many times. I only played it a few times and I got wrecked every single time I tried, completely wrecked. This time, one death, not too shabby. That's how you get stuff done. Let's see. I was going to tell them we did it. All right, so this is the build that I've handcrafted and theory crafted and researched and done an insane amount of time and effort just trying to figure out what would be fun and what would be niche and what would be exciting and what would be different it's not your typical arc mage uh, ball lightning build it's not your typical unleash build it's a ball lightning arc mage unleash hierophant and it's my buddy oisho who's level 100 we got level 100 recently too a lot of awesome things are happening so this is the skill tree that I've gone with, uh, and, it, and it obviously works. It, it was usable. So I'm going to start from just the base, just the start. So you come up with intelligence. You, you, got, you got these over here coming this way, and then you got mind over matter. That's extremely useful. It helps mitigate a ton of damage. Forbidden Flame, this is one of my uh, little hidden mechanisms. So it says allocates time of need if you have a matching modifier on hit Forbidden Flesh. And I also have another one, which is Forbidden Flesh. Um, it's uh, t Time of Need is 80% uh, reduced effect of curses on you. Also, every four seconds you regenerate 30% uh, of your maximum life over one second. So it actually equates to a sizable amount of recharge or seeming recharge. So your, your regeneration goes from, so I have 832 per second. And then it jumps to 4,600. And so it just does that every so often. It also, I also do get an energy recharge over, uh, of 6,900 if it starts to recharge. So coming this way, we have Asylum that reduce effective curses. So essentially, I don't get too badly cursed ever. Um, and then I have Elemental Overload. Uh, so yeah, and then we have Purity of Flesh. We got Zealot's Oath. And then over here, we're coming with these. I decided to get Arcane Will for the mana to be able to get a little bit of a mana usage. Pain Attunement, this is crucial. You need this because you're going to be low life anyways. So since you're on low life and you're reserving a majority of your life, you want Pain Attunement, which uh, gives 30% more spell damage when on low life. You got Melding. And then I decided to just take this jewel. I wanted... Uh, a nice corrupted blood cannot be inflicted on you. Global crit strike, a little, little bit of uh, spell damage, and while holding a shield, uh, cast speed with lightning skills. So it's a kind of a nice little jewel. I decided to toss it on there. Written in blood, 
and then we have Arcane Expanse. And this is extremely necessary if you're going to be doing a, a niche build like this. You're going to want an additional Unleash. So it says max one to max number of seals. Then I decided to go up here and get all as much intelligence as I was able to muster up. And then I got Dexterity just to be able to fulfill my Dexterity requirements mainly. Um, and then uh, my amulet has Whispers of Doom uh, as the uh, right here. So it, yep. Yeah, the anointment is Whispers of Doom. And then so we have Foresight. Uh, energy shield from equipped helmet 100% then we have reduced elemental damage taken uh, reflected elemental damage taken so nice that's what I like to hear and then uh, reduced uh, elemental damage taken so uh, and then we have this right here ash frost and storm and then we're coming towards some really secret mechanisms, so I'll talk about that in a moment. Iron Will, Strength Damage, a bonus applies to all spell damage as well. That's extremely necessary in this kit. You got Constitution. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a moment. And then we go, we got this Watcher's Eye. I added this recently, and I am so glad that I added this. This is, oh, hey, what's up? I'll invite you to my party you, you definitely can come hang out and yeah we'll, we'll do this trade right now we'll do this trade right now I need the, the vines I'll do it right now uh, yeah let's see what what did you want you want brood dome ah okay you want the brood dome you will get the brood dome here you go Thank you kindly. All right, and so that was good. We just got six divine orbs right there. That's that we that's exceptional. I'm glad about that. And uh, look how many look how many portals we have left. We uh, I took the one initially, and then I died, so I took another one. So there's four portals left. That's a success. That is a success. And so we're gonna get back towards the build right now. And uh, we have Champion of the Cause. We have Reservation Mastery, which uh, helps to res reserve life, uh, gives life efficiency of skills. I came over here for as much strength as I can muster up. And then I got the att attributes right there. I got Golem's Blood. And then Cloth and Chain. And then this is the other side of the Forbidden Jewels. I got Forbidden Flesh and Forbidden Flame. It allocates the time of need which I really like time I need in general and I find it to be extremely useful often so here comes the really interesting uh, thing that seems to piece it all together really well so this right here this zone is a really special zone for for this build and for this kit um, it's kinda cool so I'll start with this unnatural instinct which, if you put it here in particular, with this build, you get 10% increased spell damage, 9% cast speed, 12 max life, uh, 24 max mana, 20 mana regen, area of effect, uh, uh, all the notable things that I... Okay, so 94 to strength. Like, come on. You can't beat that. 94 to strength, 10 to intelligence. The other modifiers aren't necessarily as useful, but uh, it says, you know, allocated small passive skills in radius grant nothing, allocated, and then grants all bonuses of unallocated small passive skills in radius, and this is where the secret tech comes into play. Then you have lethal pride uh, under Kaom, and Kaom is really cool because when you get this, it says life recovery from non-instant leech is not applied, but that's life recovery right and I'm not trying to recover life from leech anyways so it's really just a bonus and it says 1% less damage taken for every 2% life recovery per second from leech when we go here to our stats we come towards the misc and it says maximum total life recovery per second from leech and then you go to the percentage and it's 20% so 20% 
and 1% less damage taken for every 2% life recovery per second from Leech. Effectively, that's 10% less da damage taken from all sources just for having this jewel. So you get what you're limited to one historic jewel. And so I grabbed this and the best part about this specific jewel is you get little mini bonuses. Four to strength, four to strength. You get 20 stun duration on enemies, two to strength, two, four, five percent increased strength. And this is where it gets good. All these little modifiers get soaked up by the unnatural instinct. And now you have 94 to strength when you otherwise wouldn't have all that strength. You wouldn't be getting all that. You, you'd get 10 to strength, I believe, and then 10 to intelligence. And now you're getting 84 more strength for essentially for free? Fantastic, considering I have Shaper's Touch Legacy Gloves, which give me 2% increased energy shield per 10 strength, and then the evasion rating per intelligence, which just increases my armor because we're over here and we have iron reflexes. And so we have... 90% uh, physical damage reduction at any given time. We have 75% uh, resistances at pretty much at all times. Uh, chaos resistance, 65%, and if we do take any really good chaos damage, it comes from our mana. Uh, and we have a, a decent mana pool, 3,900. Now, if we do take a huge hit to, uh, to, to ca from chaos, it could kill us potentially, depending on how much mana we have at the time. So... That's, that is something to worry about, um, depending on the scenario. And so we have this right here. And it, it, this just all just kind of pieces together and forms together in a, in a very special, awesome way. So we have Curse Enemies with Elemental Weakness on hit. Uh, and that's really good because we also have Curse ele Enemies with Conductivity on hit. So we're dual cursing them. And then we have plus two to lightning uh, spells on this. And then this Indigon special because it's legacy and it has 55% increased spell damage per 200 total mana you have spent recently up to 2000%. Now the, the downside to this specific Indigon or at least this specific legacy Indigon is it has more increased cost of skills. It's 60% which I do believe is the maximum that you could get you would really want 50 percent maybe 55 and but this has legacy for the spell damage and that's why it's really nice so you like this indigon and then this voice of the storm is where some of the most substantial damage comes into play because lightning damage with nine critical strikes is lucky is an unprecedentedly overpowered uh modifier to have because nine critical strikes most of the time I'm not critting anyways with this build. You're not necessarily critting all too often. You're critting 20% of the time. So that 20%, you're trying to get the 40% more spell damage during those eight seconds. Uh, so while you're doing that, you, you just really wanna trigger elemental overload. That's what you're looking to do. And so with the non-critical strikes, anytime you're not critting, all of that damage is getting rolled twice. Every hit is getting rolled twice. And Lightning has a notoriously various uh, amount of damage that it can do. This one specifically at base level before any kind of upgrades or any kind of ramping up. 3,800 and then 22,000. That's the type of rolls it can do anywhere in between. And so the, it, it, can, it has essentially a favorable roll or a roll with advantage every single time it hits that's broken and so it, it equates to an insane amount of damage mo much more than you normally would consider you would have as uh, the dps so the dps goes through the roof and then you get the little attributes and everything the increased lightning damage and mana it, it's it all just fits together nicely with this uh, build i've also used other items such as its series foible uh, and also you can use on the vow um, specifically one that you would want to roll with better resistances potentially this one doesn't have the best resistances i got it mostly for the chaos resistance uh and then i got, got the whisper, whispers of doom because i definitely want to get that dual curse in so that i'm hitting them with as much lightning penetration as possible and then uh so this whispers of doom actually has an awakened control destruction in it i th this is a fielder's choice 
Um, if you're not using Summon Skitter Bots, maybe you toss Innervate in here. Uh, and if you're, maybe you toss, there's a lot of different things you can toss in there. Uh, some people would might even say Inspiration or uh, like a, a added lightning damage, uh, awakened added lightning damage. There's a lot of different little little at things that you could potentially add to it. Um, if you're going more of a crit build, you might want to go increase crit strikes, maybe increase crit damage. So this is essentially a, effectively a seventh slot for your body armor. And so these are interesting options. If you want to go for this, this, I go for this, and this is definitely what's been utilizable and for the best. Um, so yeah, the, the Prism Guardian and the, the Ivory Tower had their little functionality with each other. The the Indigon has its functionality with as much mana that I'm using. It all pieces together really, really well for, for an extraordinarily fun kit uh, that it's just a heck of a lot of fun. I'll, before I go, I got. I'm just gonna clear a map real quick. Yes, I did. Yes, we did it. Yes. And so I'm gonna do a quick map before I go and uh, go ahead and grab one of these uh, cemetery maps. Yeah, we'll grab one of these cemetery maps. Okay. So now that I, I know I'm able to do Shaper level, I level 85, which that was unbelievable. That was quite a rush. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I just tanked a little bit. There we go. Typing and tanking. Let's try this metamorph out. See what happens. I could probably go faster. Let me let me just go a little bit faster. It has an interesting clear. Oh, awesome! I'm glad I can help. I mean, I prefer to help people. Like it's, I, I'm really not here to to try to. Uh, to like flip or, or try to get mass wealth or anything like that. I, I would prefer to have fun helping other people with their builds and uh, in turn, hopefully uh, somebody was really kind to me earlier and they helped me with my build. Like, oh snap, I just, is that a, what is that? Is that a, oh snap, this guy is hyper. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Stop being so rude. Wow, that thing is that thing was extra hyper. What in the world? That thing was hyper. What in the world? All right, here, let's go. That was fun. All right. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, uh, fantastic. Uh, just exceptionally fun. It's been quite a joy. Uh, tedious process, to be fair, because a uh, lot, a lot of different research that you had to do. I mean, you have to have a lot of uh, know-how and playing time as well, so that you can get the uh, the know-how and knowledge and and different theory crafting and really uh, examining what you're doing. Uh, test a lot of trial and an exceptional amount of trial and error and then uh, overall it just leads to something so blatantly fun and exciting uh, I could probably go much faster I'm going really slow for no good reason there's no reason why I'm going this slow oh quicksilver flask nice rot gut somebody was wanting a rot gut earlier but, uh, yeah, somebody was wrong with rock gut, but like, uh, yeah, this is, this is, uh, not, not, not everybody would want to do this. Not everybody is looking for ball lightning. Um, some people might want arc or they want, uh, more of like a lightning tendrils. And I've done 
some lightning tendril builds in the past. I've done uh, some divine ire and wave of conviction. Um, and, and those are exceptional builds and they're super, super fun. Uh, for, for this being a self cast the way it is, I can't remember ever doing a ball lightning arc mage with also unleash i think i did arc mage but I, I had a like a pledge of hands and i was using some kind of uh maybe like a spell echo of some sort all right we're gonna make this this uh metamorph real fast for you guys so just make it real quick and then let's let's see what we got chromatics then This metamorph, let's go. Boom. Got the liver. Grab a little bit of catalyst. Alright, this is about done. I'd say this this uh, map's over with, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But I honestly uh, really appreciate you guys uh, staying around and sticking around and checking out this build and seeing this build idea and seeing it progress and watching it grow and getting to the point where it's at right now so really appreciate you guys uh examining and hopefully uh you you, you get enough interest in something like this that you might want to try this it's 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 a heck of a lot of fun and i would highly suggest it to anybody who's looking for a super niche super uh, exciting because you're just building and building and getting it more and more fun more and more potent uh, survivability, quality of life, uh, yay. So two thumbs way, way up for that. And uh, I appreciate you guys and gals. Much love. Thank you.